crazy that it's not even 5 p.m. yet and it's pitch black outside. It's so dark. It's tricking my brain into really wanting to get ready for bed. So I've kind of started this vlog a little bit late today. So I thought I'd just turn it into an evening routine and show you guys what is my typical evening routine since I've moved here in Berlin. It's really nothing too exciting to be honest, but it involves a lot of tea. Also, I asked you guys in a previous vlog what I should put in my um, spare jar and it ended up being filled with so much tea. So that is what I'm using it for because I have a huge obsession with tea, huge. It's obviously not evening really yet, um, even though it looks like it is. So first I have a few things I gotta still do. I'm gonna go get my nails done. As you can see, it's definitely uh, time. They are over. Jew. I'm not really sure what color I'm gonna go for. We'll see, I'm very indecisive. I usually just sit there for ages and ages and ages and cannot decide and then kind of go with my impulse in the moment. And I sometimes end up really hating it. What about you? Are you anything like me? Probably, I feel like we're all kind of the same. I did ask you guys on Instagram what your favorite go-to colors are and everyone kind of had a very different color. I wanna say thank you, but I'm even more confused now, I think. And after that, I'm gonna go and buy a jewelry holder because I really need one. And I've actually been kind of stacking up my jewelry collection over the last year or so. And I need somewhere to put it. I keep putting it in this little box and it keeps getting tangled up and it's just not cute. So I need to buy a proper jewelry holder. So we're gonna go do that. you guys a little bit about Ana Luisa. If you've been on my channel before, you'll know by now that I have an ongoing partnership with them. I absolutely love what they have to offer and I'm very, very happy to continue working with them. Most of my jewelry that you will have seen in probably like 90, 9% of my videos comes from Ana Luisa. Firstly, I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video and I want to share with you guys a little bit about the brand in case you haven't heard in my other videos. One of the best things about Ana Luisa is that they offset 100% of their carbon emissions from the sourcing of the raw materials all the way to the disposal of the pieces. Another thing that I really love is that the materials they use are really high quality, yet the price is very, very fair. I think they started around $39 and upwards, so you know, there's something for everyone, which is really nice. So the ones that I'm wearing today are the Toda ones, which is basically like a double hoop, and I paired that with this cuff. I actually don't have my ear pierced over here. This is basically just a cuff that you can insert, make it look like you You've got a piercing there. It's very cute. It's very um, dainty, beautiful little piece. So yeah, I really like just putting that into my ear and making myself look badass, even though I have no hole in that section. Another piece that I've been absolutely obsessed with, and you've probably seen it if you've watched my other videos, is this bracelet. This bracelet is so pretty. It reminds me of a super luxury, vintage golden watch, without the watch, obviously. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with it. I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. I I also really, really love the packaging. Look at how sweet this packaging is. It comes in all sorts of different colors, different sizes, and they're made out of this really nice material, so they're very durable. And you could also store jewelry in here when traveling later. I like to do that sometimes. I'll just pop a necklace in here so it doesn't tangle with the rest of my jewelry. So don't forget to go and check Ana Luisa out. I'm going to live 
live. I'm going to live. I, I am most definitely going to live, but I'm also going to leave a link for you guys in the description down below. So go check that out. And of course they are having a Black Friday sale. So if you were ever thinking of getting yourself something or getting someone something, honestly now is the time because the sale's really good. It's actually a buy one, get one 60% off. That's actually a pretty good deal. I'm not gonna lie. So head over, check out my link and uh, get yourself something pretty like this stunning bracelet. And then we can be twinning because it's just chef's kiss. first bike accident. I'm thankfully all right, as you can see, I just look like a fucking panda. I feel really stupid for crying because I'm absolutely fine and thank God nothing is wrong. I'm fine, you know, and it didn't even hurt that bad, but it was just scary and I already have like a fear of cycling and I just feel like this just added on to that fear, which is like stupid because it's an accident, like it's gonna happen again, but I don't know. It's so fucked up when I'm crying. I think like in these moments you just you kind of realize like how short life can be and it's just so dramatic and what the hell but like you do realize how like life could really end like that and just like a moment and you, you don't even expect it you know and I'm not trying to get dramatic and deep here but I basically cycled into a tram line which I know is a very common thing and I feel like everyone's done it but the way I fell across the street and if there was a tram or another car coming from the other side like I could have that could have been it for me you know and that's crazy to think I just ripped my jeans and I'm fine I'm, I didn't hit my head like everything is fine two really nice guys helped me and like it was fine it was more like the shock factor than the actual pain and, and hurt. But I just wanted to share it because I feel like this is reality, you know, like this shit happens. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Today has been one of those days where everything's kind of gone wrong. Like little things throughout the day have just gone wrong. I spilt my coffee, which is not a big deal, but trying to open a door. I spilt my coffee and this guy helped open the door and he was like, shit happens. And I didn't mean to get so emotional, but I just like, it's like the shock factor, you know, it hits you. I was fine out there and I was smiling and I was like, it's fine, I'm good. Apart from my bike, it's like twisted the handle is like not straight anymore so then I didn't realize that I got onto my bike to continue cycling after and I was like whoa because it wasn't a line <laughs> like I knew I'd have a bike accident I just didn't think it'd be this early on but maybe it's a good thing maybe I'll be more careful now maybe I'll be fearless now definitely not I feel like I'll just be scarred from tram lines also, my knee is starting to really hurt now like you know after the shock wears down the actual pain of things start coming in from the cold outside and the shock factor i feel like you don't realize that you've hurt yourself until you come in later and then the shock kind of dies down you get warm and your body starts to actually feel the injuries so i think i'm gonna go and check out and see if there's anything wrong with me i feel like i'm okay generally speaking maybe i have a little bit of a bruised hand and my knee is definitely like my jeans are ripped which is really not a big deal, but these were nice jeans, but hey, it's no big deal. Also, it smells a bit like a forest. I love this. Back. I want this in my house. Can we have this one day in our house? Yeah, like a room like this.
was nice. It was really good.